Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some Excel formulas that are actually useful and practical for everyday life. I know Excel seems super daunting and overwhelming if you're not familiar with it, but if you are, then you know how much time it can save you when you use it right. So that's what I want to cover today. I'll be leaving topics I'll be covering in the description box along with their timestamps as always if you want to go to a specific part in the video. And if you like this video while you're watching it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. The first one I want to talk about is something that I think a lot of people know about and use and that's the sum function. And sum is going to do what it says it does. It is going to add values together. So this can be super helpful for things like creating a budget or keeping a list of items you've purchased to see if you have enough money to purchase all those or tracking your incoming and outgoing expenses. So let's do an example here. So let's just say that we had to purchase a bunch of office supplies. I have a list of supplies here and how much each is going to cost. So if I wanted to total up this number without having to bust out a calculator, I'm gonna create a new line called total. And what I wanna do is when you wanna create a function, you wanna go into a new cell. So I'm in this new cell right here outlined in green. I'm gonna type in equal. And then I'm gonna start typing the name of the function that I want. So since I wanna add up values, I'm gonna use the sum function. And as you can see, once you start typing a letter, it's gonna come up with all of the functions that are available. So we're gonna type sum and then the open parentheses. And as you can see now, highlighted here is what the function wants you to insert. So it wants us to insert numbers to add up. So what we can do is click and drag this whole column. And as you can see, it's highlighted in the dotted lines and then click enter and it's gonna add them all up for us. And our total is $52. So let's go ahead and highlight that. So there's actually another way to do this. So obviously we want our total to go right here. So what you can do, if you have a list like I do that's kind of in column format of numbers that you wanna add up, if you just click the cell immediately below the column that you wanna add up and then go over here, as you can see, if you hover over it, this is auto sum. Since sum is so popular, they have the auto sum feature on the home page of your Excel. So if you just click this right here, as you can see, this popped up and it's automatically knowing that you want to add up everything in this column. You can click return and there you go. You have your auto sum. So you can manually type in the formula or you can use auto sum. Either one works. But auto sum isn't helpful if you want to put your total over here. It's going to do everything in the row instead of in the column. So for this one, you would have to manually enter in the data set that you want to sum, either by clicking and dragging, or you can click the first cell and then click shift command and then the down arrow. And as you can see, it'll select everything, click enter, and you have your total. I also want to go over some of the other basic math functions like subtract, multiply, and divide. So let's just say we wanted to subtract the stapler amount and the paper amount. So I can click equals again. And for this one, there is no specific function. So you just have to manually type it out. So I want to subtract five from eight. So I'm going to click this, just hit minus, and then click the next number that I want to subtract and then click enter and it will subtract five from eight. And then if I wanted to multiply them, instead of a minus, it's the asterisk key. So now it's multiplying these two numbers. So eight times five is 40. And then if I wanted to divide it, I would take out the asterisk and add a slash, click enter, and then it's gonna divide eight by five. Also, I wanna go over some quick troubleshooting information. Sometimes you're trying to enter a formula and maybe you accidentally click the wrong thing and then you try to click over and then you're all over the place. If you just click escape, it will clear that function out so that you can start over if you need to. And also if you get lost in a function, if you click right here, this FX, on the side, it will pop up kind of more information and tell you exactly what the formula is looking for. So if you get lost, you can use this as a resource. The next one I want to talk about is text to column. And I know this isn't 
technically a formula, but I find it super, super helpful. So for example, in this sheet, I have a bunch of very random celebrities and I have their first name and last names in the same column, but maybe I wanna separate out their first and last name so I can sort alphabetically by last name. So how do we get first and last in separate columns? So the way you wanna do this is by highlighting the column that you want to adjust. It's really important to note that you need to have a clear column to the right of whatever you're trying to adjust. So for example, we have column A and we have column B clear because it's gonna move data into a new column. So you need a fresh column. And what we're gonna do is highlight column A, go to data and click text to columns. And as you can see here, there's a preview of our data. We're gonna do delimited, click next, and the default is gonna have delimiter as tab. However, we want our delimiter to be a space. So as you can see right here, when I select space, it's gonna show you which text is gonna to move to a new column. So now all the last names are gonna to move to a new column. We're gonna click next. We're just gonna use the general format and click finish. So now we have our first names and last names in separate columns. So now let's say you wanted to do the complete opposite. You have text or information in two separate columns and you wanna put them together into one column. That's called concatenate. So what you can do is click equals and there is a formula. So if you just start typing concat, click on it, it's gonna open up a bracket for you to select the cells that you want put together. So it's gonna show you here text, and then you see how it's prompting you to add a comma between the next one. So we're gonna add a comma, and then text two, we're gonna use this one. We're gonna close our parentheses and click enter, and now those two separate columns are now in one. But for something like names, this doesn't really make sense because you would want a space between them. So there is another way to do it, and it's by clicking equals, and then clicking the first cell that you want the information from, so we want lady, clicking the ampersand, then we're gonna do quotation marks, space, quotation, an and sign again, and then the second type of text that we want. So let's just look at it really quick. We have A3, which is where lady is, the ampersands are just gonna tell the formula that you're trying to put something from another cell with it. So we did and, and then the quotation marks are a way to get a space in there without the formula being confused. That's why we add, added quotation marks around the space. Then we said and again, B3, which is Gaga. Then we're gonna click return. And there you go, you have Lady Gaga properly with a space. And if you're like, oh my God, that's so much work, it's okay because what you can do is just autofill the rest of your sheet once you have one formula in place. So if you just hover over this cell in the bottom right corner, you see there's a black X. If you just double click, it's gonna fill for everybody else. So now we have all of our names in the same cell with a space in between them. So now let's say this is the only row you want and you wanna delete these two rows. I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen if I just right click on them and click delete. You're gonna see this reference error. And that means that the formula you created, the reference points have disappeared or something happened to them. We're gonna undo because if we click into this cell, as you can see in, you know, if we click into cells with text, the text is gonna come up right here. If we click into a cell that's a formula, the formula is gonna come up in the cell preview because it's actually the formula in there, it's just showing us the text. So what we need to do is copy, paste special for just the values and then we can delete our references. So I'm gonna highlight this column and either right click copy or command C for the shortcut. Then I'm gonna right click paste special and then go to values. There's also a keyboard shortcut for this. If you are interested, it's control option V or depending on what keyboard you're on, control alt V. But we are going to select values. Now, as you can see, when we click into a cell, 
that once was a formula, now we have it as a value instead. So now once we delete these, we're not gonna get any reference errors because these are no longer formulas, they're just values. Another formula I use a lot, especially in this kind of situation with names, is the proper function. So sometimes you might get a list of names, maybe you work in HR or something like that, and not all of them are proper nouns. So for example, we can see here, none of the first or last names are capitalized, and if we wanna send out an email or something, we need them to be in proper format. So what you can do is click equals. We're gonna go with another function here, and if you type proper, and click on it and then we're just gonna click on the cell that we want to create a proper format for and then we can just close out the bracket, click enter and now as you can see we have our proper nouns all good to go and then again you can just autofill the rest and you are all set with creating your proper nouns and again, you know, if you wanted to delete this column now you would just have to do command copy and then Control Option V to pull up Paste Special Values, OK, and now we can delete this column. This actually works with things like addresses too, so let's just say Lady Gaga lives at 123 North Circle Street. If we wanted to create that to be a proper formatting, we can do equals, proper, click on the cell we want to make proper, close the parentheses, click enter, and as you can see now, it is all in proper formatting. Finally, I wanna show you a quick shortcut for adding a bunch of rows without having to highlight a row, right click, and click insert a bunch of times if you wanna insert like 10 rows or something. There's an easier way to do it. So what you can do is you know if I wanted a new row between Lady Gaga and Michael Jordan, I'm gonna highlight Michael Jordan because the default is to add a row above. So what I'm gonna do is hold down Command Shift and then the plus sign. And then I can just keep holding Command Shift down and just keep clicking the plus sign until however many rows that I wanted were added. And then there's another way to do it. So let's just say we highlighted these five rows here. If I click Command Shift Plus, it's gonna add five rows because I had five rows highlighted. So that's just a quick shortcut to add multiple rows if you need to quickly. So that is it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, share it with a friend or a family member who could use this information. I really want more people to feel comfortable with using Excel. Let me know in the comments what you use Excel for. I really, really appreciate you watching today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.